In this lecture, you will learn to create your first Android app. We are using Android Studio for that. We need to start Android Studio. After that, we have to click Start a new Android Studio project. And you need to give application name. I will keep this default name for the company domain. You can use your company domain name. I will use netrockspec.com and now over here you can see the package name you can modify it too if you want to you can click on edit and you can modify package name the package name provides a unique identity for the app over here you can see project location your project will be saved here in this directory if you want you can modify that then we click on next over here we will check phone and tablet we want to build out our application for our phone over here you can uh, check the api the version you want to use we will use this one api 23 android 6 marshmallow then you can click on next Over here, you can see there are different kind of activity screens you can build. This is by default empty activity. You can select this one. This can be used to create single activity and it will display simple text. Then after selecting this one, click on next. Over here, you, you have to give the class name, Java class name for the activity name. I will keep this one, main activity. Over here, you can say, uh, see layout name. This is for XML file. It's a layout name of an XML file that describes the appearance of the screen that you are going to see. So we will keep this one then you can click finish it will take some time to initialize the project This is a default code generated for us. You can click on activity underscore main dot XML file. You will be able to see the interface. This is a message. It's gonna text. It's gonna print hello world. To test this basic application, we need to use uh, our Android phone, or we can use virtual device to run on Android emulator. To create a virtual device, we can go to the tool over here and then Android and then AVD manager. I already created this device. I'm gonna delete it and create from scratch. If you are creating your first time, then you have to click, click over here. Here is the device name you want to test your application on. I will select this one. It, and over here under the category, you can select phone because we are creating our application for the phone. Then it's showing the size of a screen over here. Resolution, density. And then we will click on next. Over here, you can see API level that you want to select. And this over here for Intel machine, this 86. And this one for 64, we will select this one. And then we click on next. 
and also you can see over here Android 6 with Google API under the target then click on next over here you can give the name for your AVD Android virtual device I will keep this name and you can click on show advanced setting you can see over here you can turn on camera or it's set up for the network and you can also sign the RAM that you want this virtual device to use I will go by the default values then click on this one then we will click on finish it will take some time to create AVD our AVD is created you can see name over here of our virtual device you don't need to create this uh, virtual device every time you just whenever you create a new application you can test on this device unless you want to check uh, your application on different system different kind of phone so after creating this virtual device we need to run it click over here it says launch this AVD in the emulator then after clicking on that you can see output over here it means this uh, is started you can see the message over here hex is working and em emulator run in fast virtual mode then you will see this emulator screen then you can see welcome message then you can click on got it now the emulator is started and initialized we can test our application on this emulator to test our application we can click over here and you can see this arrow to run over here run app click on it it will detect our virtual device then we can click on OK over here you can see ADB on port 5555 ADB is used with our application to make a connection with our virtual device now we have our app shown up on this AVD depending on the RAM you are using on your system this process can be slow or fast suggested RAM to use with Android application development is 8 GB but it's not official uh, suggestion I'm just uh, based on my experience if you want to start application fast if you want your uh, AVD to start quickly so that's the be uh, best RAM I think so you need to have a, at least 8 GB RAM so over here we can see our application uh, on AVD this way you can uh, create a basic uh, Android application and also you you learn how to create Android virtual device and uh, also you uh, you learn how to test on uh, AVD you don't need to create a AVD now uh, every time uh, you're going to build a new application you can use this uh, device you just can build your application and test on this device you can watch more free programming videos on awesomeacademy.org